there are some common mistakes being made by mountain bikers. So let's go through them and see if we can fix it. But before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, the first one I want to talk about, Blake, is quite frankly, your underwear. Oh, naughty, naughty, Mr. Ashton. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about bib shorts. Now, wearing bib shorts on a cycling ride is going to prolong the nice comfort on that saddle. Now, I've seen this mistake happen before, and that is wearing pants or your briefs underneath your bib shorts. Oh, that's a no-no. No, it's a no-no. Yeah, everything gets a bit more... Scrunched. Scrunched. A bit Scrunched. more chafage, yes. Yeah, no, you definitely don't want to wear your pants under your bib shorts. Mm. What you want to do is wear your bib shorts as your underwear, um, and you'll get all the comfort out of them with that padding from the gel seat in it. Um, but if you're going on a really long ride, maybe try some chamois Ooh, butter. Yes. Just rub that on there, and uh, you'll have much more comfort for much more distance. Question yeah. is, yeah. which one do you butter up first? The chamois? or the parts the parts well it depends where you're from if you're from devon then you always put the butter on the pants but if you're from cornwall then it goes right on your bollocks there we have it let us know if, which parts do you butter up first anyway moving on Braking. Yeah, we're talking about braking on the trail. Beginner mistakes with brakes. Yeah, well see, when you're first starting out, braking can be confusing. Mm -hmm. uh, to add to the confusion, here in the UK, our front brake is on the right-hand side, uh, and the rear brake, obviously, on the left-hand side. Now, most of the world is the other way around. It is, isn't okay, it? Yeah. So there's one confusion to start off with. But lots of riders, you're just starting out, they're not sure how much front or how much back brake to use. Uh, and it's a very uh, it's a very subtle trick to learn, really, mm -hmm. and it takes a bit of practice. And any good braking experience, Blake? Yes, my wife. Ah. She, um, not braking up, but she, <laughs> she always asks me when she gets on the bike, what brake do I pull? Ah. Literally, what you were saying. Yeah, I mean, it is difficult. One thing I would say is that obviously the rear wheel, you're going to get an awful lot of reaction from grabbing the rear wheel. Mm, it's because slide. you're going to feel it lock up, it's going to slide. If you're going to turn, it's going to step out. So it can be lively. One thing to think about is how much you can use the front brake. Uh, the more weight you get on that front tyre, the quicker you're going to stop. Yes. So what it takes is a bit of experimentation, a bit of practice, and understanding that the two brakes do do two very different things. Now, when I've been in a rush, I've been guilty of this one, Blake. Crunching through your gears. Oh, yeah, like oh. a monkey on a machine gun. <laughs> yeah. It's the quickest way to wear out your drivetrain, snap a chain, or do a lot of damage to something that costs quite a lot of money on your bike. Yeah, to replace. absolutely. So think about when and where you're changing gear and give yourself enough time in that change of the gear to actually decrease a bit of power through mm -hmm. your pedals a little bit uh, and be... A little bit gentle on it. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, be kind. Pedal position. Where do you put your feet, Mal? Uh, well, way to think about it is position the ball of your foot mm -hmm. uh, in line with the pedal axle. Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. Um, when you're riding along uh, and you're not pedaling, ride with your pedals level um, at nine and three, if that makes sense. Uh, and that's a nice comfortable position to cruise along. Uh, and then you will find that one foot will be your leading foot, the one that you feel most comfortable to ride with at the front. Um, and sometimes it's your left, sometimes it's your right, depends on the rider, it really does. Now the way to find that is you can ask a friend to simply give you a shove uh, and the foot that you step forward with will be the foot that is your front foot. Hmm. So let's try it out. Yeah. Martin! Which one was it? None of them! What are you doing? Choosing the wrong trail, Mr. Ashton. Now, I've done this quite a lot. Oh, it can be scary. Do you remember that blue you tried that time? <laughs> oh, scary, Blake. It was. I felt like yesterday, yeah. so. 
you will find most trails are graded, um, usually on a colour scheme. A green being a beginner, then you go blue, then up to a red, and then the black, and then the double black diamonds, pro level trails. Um, that colour scheme is generally the universal system, but if you're unsure at a trail centre, then check either their map or they'll have a key describing the level of the trails. Mm. And it's a very important thing to know what you're getting yourself into. Now, have you ever taken on a trail you shouldn't have done? Yes, a number of times. There was like a double black diamond. Horrible. Whoa. But Whoa. if you were to venture out of these trail centers where they haven't got a map, they haven't got a key to look at, none of the trails are going to be marked or graded when you're out there. So doing your reconnaissance before heading out to a location that you're not sure about yeah. is key. Also, most of those trails are built by experienced riders. So mm -hmm. they know what they're doing when it comes to riding some rough terrain. Yes. And also remember, look before you leap, if you get yourself into a bit of a situation and you don't want to crash. Yes, that's the, that's the name of the game, don't crash. Um, Blake, there's some good yeah. tips there, yeah. some things to avoid, uh, some little common mistakes that we all make. Uh, mm -hmm. What's a mistake that you made when you were starting out in mountain biking? Looping out on a wheelie, a manual, oh. or a jump, is I never feathered yeah. my rear brake. Oh. Winding myself. Oh no, that's not good. Mm -mm. Do you know what? The one mistake I made is not maintaining my bike. Uh, and I, I snapped a lot of chains <laughs> and found out as time went on that I needed to maintain the chain better. Mm -hmm. um, and snapping a chain can be painful. <laughs> so there you have it. Some mistakes you definitely should avoid. So do not put those underpants on <laughs> underneath <laughs> your bib shorts. <laughs> Uh, 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 and it is a mistake if you don't subscribe and like. Yeah, so make sure you do that. And of course, let us know in the comment section down below for any mistakes we haven't mentioned that everyone out there who's reading should definitely avoid. See you next time. See ya.